Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to oscastnetwork.com for details. So how important are keywords for your business? Ah, there's that elusive word again, keywords. You know you should have them, but why? And how are they identified? Now here are six things every business and brand should know. I've got something for your mind, your body, and soul. Curry, 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 curry. curry. I'm Kari Watt, the creator of The Kari Care Show and a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communication. My mission is to help you achieve and exceed your marketing goals through a tailored digital strategy for your business and be your digital coach. Now, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and follow me on social media for some good vibes and because it's free. Gone are the days when a website could be packed with keywords and receive traffic. Search engines are becoming more intuitive and algorithms are favoring high quality content, which may include relevant keywords. Now, maintaining a strong keyword presence in a website can seem tricky, but before you bury your head in your hands, here are a few simple things to help you master keywords for your business. When customers search for your product or service, what do they search for? What terms do they use? Do they call your shop a salon, a barber shop, perhaps a hair cuttery? Although your car dealership may consider your cars to be pre-owned, what do your customers search for? Um, secondhand cars, used cars? So considering the search practices of your audience is the first step towards identifying strong traffic driving keywords. Now these are the language that your customers use when searching on Google. Structuring your content on your website around terms and phrases that your customers are using for searches is the most effective way for your business or brand to create content that's well positioned for higher ranking. Keyword research is a very important step to SEO, search engine optimization. It's important because of the following reasons. Number one, an engaged audience. To begin producing content that's relevant to your audience, you must understand what keywords are bringing traffic to your website. So figure out what interests your audience and then write the content around that. Number two, increase conversions. Relevant content will not only attract visitors, but it will also attract qualified traffic. Now you have a higher conversion rate if the content you're producing is meaningful to those who are reading it. Now there's a study by Juniper Research on the return of investment of email relevance for engaging your audience. You can increase a net profits 18 times more than just broadcasting. So ask yourself, are you answering the right questions? Number three, marketing trend insight. Analyzing keywords will offer you insights into current marketing trends and consumer behavior. Keep up to date on what's popular and important to your audience and use that to keep your content relevant. Prioritize your time properly. Don't spend time creating content on keywords that are not increasing your bottom line. Use keywords that are generating success to your advantage. Now this can have a huge impact on your return on investment. Number five, expand your long tail efforts. When you use keyword research to discover other keyword queries and you can expand your long tail efforts. And I covered this in another video down the track. The long tail research is the most popular type of, uh, of search according to SEO Moz. This type makes up 70% of search traffic. Now effective keyword research can help you rank high among phrases that matter most to your audience and break into new markets and overall strengthen your visibility. Number six, place keywords in the right spot. Identifying your ideal keywords is only half the battle. Once that's complete, putting these keywords in the right locations is the next step. And this will have a huge impact on your organic search ranking. 
Now studies show that 77% of researchers click on organic links over paid ads. With this in mind, your organic search rank is important to your long-term success. So always look at what your customer is interested in and what they want. You can easily conduct a keyword analysis and I can show you where to place them in my social media playbook course to use your research to help structure your marketing campaign around a specific theme or audience. Now you can find a link to the, my social media playbook course in my bio or on kariwat.com. And remember to like and share this with a friend who could use a helping hand. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use a helping hand. Now I'd love to hear from you and know what is one takeaway from this week that you can do now. Re and feel free to reach out with any questions you might have. Until next week, peace. Love this podcast? Support it and sponsor today. Simply head to OzcastNetwork.com for details.